Living a healthy life with a mental illness is not easy, but it certainly is possible. In his book, Sharp, a memoir, David Fitzpatrick talks about his two-decade struggle of self-injury and bipolar depression and what it took to reclaim his life. David Fitzpatrick joins us now on Connecticut Style. So, David, you grew up in Guilford. Grew up in nearby, Guilford. Yeah. Um, but you had a severe mental illness. I guess, tell us a little bit what was going on. Right. A uh, uh, year out of college, a year out of Skidmore College, I was... Um, I moved to Boston and I had been struggling with depression for about a year mm -hmm. uh, and um, I just had a breakdown in Guilford one weekend, kind of lost it mm -hmm. and I had been uh, injuring myself, cutting myself and, um, and, and uh, from there it, it really just kind of plummeted into a, a long pit for 20, uh, 17 years. And I didn't come out of it till I was 41 years old, really. And how did that happen at age 41? It was pretty amazing. The, the, you know, the, the, my story is such a humbling story because so many people went in a hand, you know. So many people gave a damn and, and reached out. So it was family. It was, it was some broken patients at the different hospitals. It was two expert doctors that um, really kind of pinpointed my anguish inside all of my you know, layers of fat and layers of uh, inertia, layers of laziness, and just really um, got me excited about life again. Got me wanting to read and, mm -hmm. you know, find girls, find, you know, find a wife and everything. Well, that's great. Um, it also says here that uh, you have a lot of friendships, including Wally Lamb. How did that happen? Yeah, really, uh, serendipity was in the air, I really? guess. Uh, I, uh, it was 92, and I, I wrote a letter to him after reading uh, She's Come Undone, his great first novel. And the protagonist in that book was named Dolores Price. And so I told him that I wanted to have a dinner party mm -hmm. and invite all these famous literary characters to, um, to a house and have his uh, Dolores Price along for the ride. So he was most moved by that, that he gave me a call I when really? I got out of the hospital and just said, you know, hey, this is Wally, and and uh, it, it was a um, that's got a motivation a in itself, thing. sure. It was like talking with him. Maybe started entering my life, you know. Maybe started entering my conversation. If that man is interested in me, maybe I can turn my life around. Maybe I can write. Maybe I can. All these maybe started blooming. All right, and then what made you decide to write the memoir? Just because I'd, I've, I'd have always been journaling, you know, ever since I was in all the hospitals, I was, I was writing, I was journaling. I, uh, I was an English major at Skidmore, although I was too shy to ever take any creative writing courses because I was afraid of the, having exposing myself, you know. I was really, really um, introspective and, and sure. lonely. But uh, it, it was a... Uh, um, it was a healing thing to write it, you know? I mean, when I look at it now, I wrote it, of course, because I'm a writer and because it's, it can help people. And I, I kind of look at it as kind of a, a therapeutic pay it forward kind sure. of, if you will, you know? Something to help uh, people who are, who are lost. Yeah, um, and so we, we read about your journey. Right. Where does it start, from a young age? It starts from, uh, it talks about being, having magical summers on the Cape. You know, it, it started out as a really good summer when I was, uh, 20 on Martha's Vineyard with a bunch of Guilford friends. Mm -hmm. But then uh, my brain really started splintering a little. I went back to college and I had some roommates that were difficult, you know, that were um, kind of hazing me for a long time. So I, I, I kind of fell into a very passive situation, you know, and so... Um, We'll have to read the book then. Yes, you have to read the book. Not, where can we find it? You can find it at any Barnes & Noble, any... Uh, uh, any Amazon, and I just wanted to say uh, I went to Fairfield University for their MFA program, and mm -hmm. a, an ex exceptional program. So Very good. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, thanks. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.